In today's tutorial, we're going to discuss the gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. We're going to differentiate between the gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Let's start our discussion from the structure of the bacteria. Bacteria is actually composed of three very important layers. That is the capsule, cell wall and plasma membrane. Plasma membrane, which is actually lipid by layer, means two lipid layers combined together, they make the plasma membrane. And what is the function of plasma membrane? The function of plasma membrane is very really obvious. That is, it actually holds the cellular content, whatever is present inside the cell. Remember, in this lecture, we are not going to study the internal content of the cell. We are just going to study the external structure of the bacteria. Well, so plasma membrane, lipid bilayer, which actually holds cellular content, whatever is present inside the cell. And we have the next, the second layer, that is the cell wall, which is a kind providing the structural support to the bacteria. And the third layer, very important, that is the capsule, which encapsulates the bacteria. And this capsule is providing two very important functions to this bacteria. Number one, attachment. Number two, protection. So it is the very cause that is actually protecting the bacteria against the foreign uh, environment that's it so capsule provides protection and attachment ability cell wall provides the structural support plasma membrane holds the cellular content and now let's come towards the point that is the difference between the gram positive and gram negative bacteria we have very simple difference that is actually the main difference lies in the structural composition structurally the gram positive bacteria is different from the gram negative bacteria how like very simple we do have plasma membrane in the gram positive bacteria and the same plasma membrane is available in the gram negative bacteria the next structure is the cell wall now here uh, according structurally i have just drawn this a little bit different like because of its structural composition means gram positive is having a thick cell wall as compared to gram negative bacteria means in the gram negative bacteria we do have cell wall but that is like uh, actually thin compared to gram positive you can see that in the gram positive the cell wall is thick compared to gram negative bacteria and the very second important point that is actually differentiating again the gram positive and gram negative is the plasma membrane now here we don't have the plasma membrane here we have the third layer that is actually the capsule but regarding the gram negative our fourth layer is going to be of the capsule. So where are the differences now? Simple, in the cell wall and in the plasma membrane. So in the gram negative, we have primary plasma membrane, cell wall, thin, secondary plasma membrane, and the capsule. Whereas in the gram positive bacteria, we have plasma membrane, a thick cell wall compared to gram negative, and a capsule. And this is the very difference uh, that regarding the gram positive and gram negative. I hope you got, and if still you have any query regarding the topic, drop that in the comment box. And remember that in the next video, we're going to discuss the gram standing. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching.